Hi guys, good evening, good evening. It's late evening. It's Hazelan here, 100% tasty. As we know, it's Christmas time. So here what we're gonna make, we're gonna make some pastels. For those of you who don't know what pastels are, you're gonna learn tonight. And um, if you're a Trini, like myself, Trinidadian, originally, yes, then you know Christmas is not Christmas without pastas. It's just a traditional thing, yeah? So pasta is basically a cornmeal casing with meat inside of it. Meat could be fish, could be pork for those who eat pork, it could be beef, minced beef, it could be minced chicken, it could be vegetarian, it could be vegetables, it could be soya, it could be lentil, it could be whatever you choose to put in the pasta. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna give you a simple recipe to start. We're gonna use two cups of cornmeal. First to begin. One. Okay, so we measured two cups of cornmeal. So this now we're going to add one, hold on, one minute, one teaspoon of salt, let me try it, it's a bit wet, one teaspoon of salt, And we're gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. Some people like to flavor the cornmeal dough a bit more. They may add chili flakes or they may add chopped pimentos. That's your choice, it's your pastel, whatever you choose to add to it, whatever flavor is good for you. You can go right ahead and add it in. So we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to just mix the dry ingredients together first. Four tablespoons of butter. And this is not butter, this is margarine, but you can use butter or margarine, whatever you choose. Some people add, use um, the cooking butter. So that's your choice. Right, and we're just gonna mix this together until it comes like fine bread crumbs. To this, we're gonna add hot water. So your water must be at a rolling boil. So I just turn the kettle on there. So we're gonna add three cups of water and we're looking for a texture that looks like cheese paste. So it's mixed in here, butter, salt, sugar. So now kettle is boiled. So I'm gonna add three cups of boiling water. One, two, and I'm gonna reserve this third cup because let's see how it's gonna mix. Some cornmeal are drier than some. Remember I said I'll be looking for a texture that looks like cheese paste. Like when you're gonna make a cheese sandwich. Yeah. the other one now because it's a bit lumpy.
all right okay guys so here we are it's all mixed and as you can see it has the texture of cheese paste there are no lumps it's smooth all the way around so what you're gonna do now you're gonna take your quarter cup measurement and you're gonna dip it in your oil dip the quarter cup measurement in your oil and then you're gonna start scooping you're gonna start scooping out and making it into balls okay so let me just wash my hands okay so I've just washed my hands and we're gonna start to boil this dough here put a cup and we're gonna start to you can put a bit of oil in the palm of your hands so it won't stick and you're gonna start to make some balls, all right? So this is what we're gonna use. I've got some done already for the sake of time. So here you are. So we're gonna boil it. Just do one more again quarter cup into a nice bowl and that's what we're going to use to make our pastas so I'll move this dough aside now and I'll show you now this is a pasta press those of you who don't have a pasta press I'll show you how to use how to make a pasta without a press so we're gonna start with our banana leaves. These are some prepared here already, but I've got some in the pot here. So you cut them out and you scold them. So like this. So they are ready to be used. The hot water makes it pliable so you can fold it. Alright? So we're gonna do one with the pastel press. And then we're gonna do a few without the pastel press for those of you who don't have a pastel press. So I'm just gonna use the same oil and pastry brush and I'm going to freeze my leaf properly because we don't want it sticking. And I'll also grease another leaf. Here goes. I'm putting the dough. I'm gonna use the first one. The hot one. Alright, so we're gonna put the leaf over. So you take your knife with the back of the knife, the pitonic oil. So if the right. So here we have a perfect flattened dough. You all can see. I'm gonna add some meat to it now. Alright, so here we are again. We have got our flattened dough and we've got our minced beef here cooked. I didn't do the video but Cooking, actually the actual cooking of the minced beef because everyone knows how to cook minced beef. 
I presume. <laughs> so you cook your minced beef, you add um, raisins, capers, olives, some people great carrots and add it to add a lot of pimentos. You make sure your, beef, your meat is tasty the way you want, you like it, the way you want your pasta to taste. So I'm just going to add some meat here. I add like about two and a half to three spoons. And we're gonna fold it. Yeah. So we 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 we're looking for an envelope shape, but if we get a rectangle shape or a square, that's that's fine, that's okay. If it's stuck a bit, so use the back of the knife, but dip it in oil and just bring it down a bit like this. And you fold on this side. And you fold again on this side. So, okay, so here's your, here's your pastel. Fold it. And either do it the traditional way where you can tie it with a string and steam it or you can wrap it in foil you can wrap this green banana leaf here in foil and steam it also some people boil it it takes it's shorter than you know it's a quicker finish than Steaming. So this is one here, all right? So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to do one now for those of you who don't have a pasta press. And, right? Okay, we're going to go ahead now. For those of you who don't have a pasta press, I'm just going to put this back in here. This is the way to do it. Same thing, you take your oil, you grease the banana leaf properly. Oh, I put it back and I forgot. You put your dough bowl. You grease another banana leaf. If you have a flat plate, flat bottom plate, you can use it. If not, the flattest thing would be a cake pan. So I'm going to put this here. Okay, so we're going to press down our dough with the cake pan. Alright, so you see it's not flat enough. So we're going to use the rolling pin now. And we're going to flatten it some more. All right. Oh. Okay, so this is how we flatten it without a pastel press using two banana leaves, the bottom of your cake pan, and your rolling pin. Again, as I said, if you have a flat bottom plate without a ridge, you can use that also. So this is it here and this is the pasta press and I'm just going to show you a uh, finished pasta now. So you're going to put some water in the bottom of a pot and put your colander to make a double boiler. This is some pastas I've already done here. And you're going to steam them for about 40 minutes. On high heat for about 40 minutes. So I'm just going to show you one now that's already steamed. Finished product. Here you go. Here you go. So 
So this is it guys, 100% tasty. Meat filling. Raisins popping out there, those juicy raisins popping out there. And your casing is nice, very nice casing. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. So you can enjoy, you can have your pastas, but if you choose to eat with chow chow, you choose to eat with sour chutney, whatever. So I'll see you again. Thank you for looking, thank you for watching. 100% tasty. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ciao, ciao.